Why is your church complicated? There are so many churches are difficult to understand, difficult to follow. What is the meaning of their church? What's behind the name of their church? What is behind the religion of their church? What is behind the history of their church? And where does their church fall in line with God's word? Churches are too complicated. You have churches that are into certifications about something. You have churches that don't follow the Bible properly. You have churches that are fundamentally laying the foundation that is not spiritually sound. It is false doctrine. And for those who are looking in and for those who are part of these congregations, the churches are too complicated. God's plan was never designed for complication. It's a simple plan to save every soul for those who obediently follow Christ. In the book of Acts, in chapter 20, verse 24, Luke wrote, however, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Luke understood who God was. Luke understood why Christ came. Luke understood the path for everlasting life. To know who God is and to live in his ways, to seek his truth and not these complicated ways from this world. This world will not get you closer to heaven. This world will not please God. This world will cause your soul to be in full separation of God. The time is right now to turn from this complicated world that's trying to tangle your soul up and to cause you to not, not only stumble soul, your precious soul, something that God gave you a real value. And Satan is trying to take your soul. It's trying to confuse your soul, your mind, your body, your spiritual connection with God. The time is right now to put your soul on the right track. The time is right now to cut loose from churches that are not fully anchored in the Lord. The Lord wants you in his kingdom, your precious soul, that's part of God's image and likeness. Seek his ways, seek his will, live for his purpose and no one else's. Your soul is too valuable to lose. Are you ready for everlasting life? When the Lord comes, you need to be prepared to be in his kingdom, his radiant beauty 
for eternity.